Hello my friends. In this video, I will walk you through how to manually resize your WinRE partition. This partition needs to be resized so Windows Update can write to it. When trying to do a Windows Update, you may see it say error encountered. In this video, I'll show you how I fix this on mine. All the commands can be found in the description below. For this video, I have all the commands on the right hand side. This will be all need to be done in a command prompt on the elevated level. To do that, type in command and tell it to run as administrator. From here, it'll open up a command window. All we're gonna do simply now is copy and paste all my commands on the right hand side. The first command is reagent C info. Let's go ahead and copy that and paste that into the command window and hit enter. As you can see, we have a WinRE location, WinRE status. Right now, this is where it is on partition three recovery windows RE. First thing I gotta do is disable this reagent real quick so we can do the rest of the commands and then we'll re-enable it at the end. Next step, we need to open up disk part. Disk part is a Windows program for partitioning disks. First thing I want to do is open up disk part. So just right click and paste disk part in there. And now you can see that we are in disk part. Next, we'll select list disk. This will list all the disk in the machine. As you can see on mine, disk zero is my main OS drive, 64 gigabyte hard drive. So what I'm going to tell it to do now, I need to tell it to select that disk. Your number may vary, but mine is zero. So I'm going to hit select disk zero. Now you can tell that disk zero is selected. Next thing I want to do is select all the partitions that are in there. So I want to list them first. So I'm going to hit there, hit enter. And you can tell I have three partitions going right here. The main one I'm worried about is partition two, which is my 63 gigabyte hard drive. That's my big one. And the one right below it is my recovery partition. For my machine, I'm gonna select partition two because that's my primary partition that my C drive is on. Once that's selected, it'll tell you right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna shrink this disk down just a little bit so we have a little bit more room so we can put the new recovery partition in there. So the first thing I'm gonna do is list my partitions and you can tell by the star on the left hand side, this is the one that's got selected. This is very important because you don't wanna be overwriting the wrong one, okay? Next, we're gonna copy this command, shrink desired 250 to minimum of 250. So we're gonna paste that in right here and then all I have to do is simply hit enter and it'll go and do the work for us. Okay, once this part has successfully shrunk them down 250 megs, our next step is we're gonna have to select the recovery partition. This is the one that's already there. So if you look in your disk management, I'm gonna open it up right here, you'll see that there is my original recovery partition and there's my new one I just made room for, right there on the left, this one right here, okay? So the next thing we wanna do, close down this window and we're gonna select the recovery partition. So now I just need to say, list my other partitions. So we'll go ahead and come down here, copy this. We'll paste a list partitions and you can see right here I have partition three. So this is the one I want to get rid of right now. Okay, so first thing I want to do is I got to select that partition. Next thing we do is we copy this, tell it to select partition and we'll paste it into the window. Now I have partition three is selected. I'm going to go ahead and type in list partition just to be safe to make sure that I'm on the right one because I'm fixing to delete this partition. So if I select list partition, you can see there's a star next to partition three. That's my recovery. Next option I'm going to do is I'm going to delete partition override. This basically is just going to delete that partition that was already there. I'm going to go back into my disk management and you can see the only thing I have left now is an allocated spot right there to the right of my C drive. This is where we're going to put our RE files. Note, if your disk is GPT, it will show the asterisk sign under the GPT column. If your disk is MBR, it will not show the asterisk sign under the GPT column. So you use one or the other. In this tutorial on my machine, I'm using the MBR commands. Commands for both GPT and MBR will be in the description below. Here's an example of a GPT disk. Notice that under the GPT column, you see the asterisk. Next command is list disk. As you can see under my machine, under GPT, I do not have any asterisks. So my disk is a MBR disk. First thing you want to do is create a partition primary ID number 27. ID number 27 tells Windows this is where the RE disk is going to be. So I'm going to simply copy and paste it in there, hit enter, and we're done there. Next, we're going to format the new created partition and name it Windows RE tools. So I'm simply going to copy this command and paste it down and hit enter. Perfect. All right. Almost there, guys. Hang in there. 
Next thing I want to do is I want to list the volume. So I'm going to copy this paste over there and say list volume so I can see it's in there. There it is, volume number four with the asterisk sign right next to it. Windows RE partition and it's healthy and it's ready to go. Okay, so we are done in disk part now and you can see it over here in the disk management. There's the disk that we just created, all right? So now let's exit out of disk part. Just type in the word exit and then the next thing we want to do is re-enable the reagent. So let's come in here and select reagent C enable. Copy that, paste it over and it'll re-enable it for us. And then after we're done there, we're gonna just do the same command. I'm just gonna copy this reagent C, but this time it's gonna be slash info, and this will display everything that's going on and where this disk is, okay? So we're gonna go and paste that in there, hit enter. And as you can see, the Windows RE location is up there now, and it should be on this partition right here. We'll go ahead and check for Windows Update one more time. Fingers crossed that it works this time, and there you go.